Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5e and how to move a grappled creature. If you have a look in the player's handbook on page 195, there is a very small paragraph on moving a grappled creature. I've already done a video on grappling a creature. Uh, you can see that in my playlist under How to Play Dungeons and Dragons 5e. So when you move, you can drag or carry a grappled creature with you, but your speed is halved, unless the creature is two or more sizes larger than you. So let's start off with the fighter here. This particular fighter has grappled the Helmed Horror, and this fighter decides to move back along the bridge towards the edge, so it can drop it off this precipice that essentially is here. So, one, two, three, so 15 feet, it gets it to the edge. Now does that mean that they can actually drag them off the edge? Now it does state drag, it doesn't say push. And I would point out to you, you need to check with your dungeon master because there are mechanics for shoving a creature. And when you drag somebody, you usually have to move ahead of them and they come with you. So dragging them off the edge of a bridge is probably not going to work, but you can drag them to the bridge edge or the precipice edge or whatever edge you want to drag them to or whatever location you want. Now to actually get them off the edge, as I said, check with your dungeon master. I would imagine that in this case you're going to have to use the shoving rules. So then you have to actually spend your action to actually try and shove them off the edge once you've got them grappled and, and moved them into the position. It also states that you can carry the creature that you have grappled. To do something like a carry, your dungeon master might allow you to just have one hand do the grapple and then do like a fireman's lift and hift them over your shoulder and carry them to whatever location you want. Or they might state you have to use both hands to actually lift them up as you move half your speed. There are no rules in the player's handbook for how to deal with this. This is really all completely up to the dungeon master. So what happens if this particular fighter decides to one drop their weapon and they've performed the grapple and they are carrying it. As a general rule when you drop something it doesn't use your action, your bonus action or even your interaction to drop something. You can normally drop something like a weapon and, and as many as you like really in your turn, if you have two in your hand, you could drop both of them and you haven't used either your interaction, bonus action or action. So how do you uh, negotiate this particular situation where the, the players might grapple somebody, move them to a location, say, okay, I'm carrying them, I've got both my hands holding them, I want to drop them off this edge now. It's not going to use any of my action to do so. Uh, can they do this? Again, this is something that the Dungeon Master has to make the call with because dropping a creature that you are carrying is not quite the same as dropping something like a weapon. You, when you're dropping something, you're dropping something small. You, in this case, you're actually dropping something that's quite a lot larger. With regard to actually carrying or dragging somebody who is grappled, you can use your move or you could expend your action to drag them further. So the fighter doesn't have to just drag it 15 feet because it has a speed of 30 and it can only drag it half its speed They could also use their their dash their action and get a dash in there and drag it another 15 feet One, two, three, And drag it down this way the rules for moving a grappled creature are very very simple There are no real skill checks required just the initial skill check or, or grapple check required to actually get hold of the grapple, um, grappled creature in the first place. Moving them around, you can just do that. If you found this video helpful and informative, please share, like, and subscribe. Make a comment below if you have any questions, and I'll answer those. Until next time, keep rolling those 20s.